Hi, it's Tristan from PhotoRx. I'm going to show you how to quickly and easily clean up your line art using our Lettering RX Paper to Pixel Photoshop Action Set. Um, for anyone who hasn't used Actions before, it's a way to automate tasks in Photoshop and cut out a huge learning curve. And for those that do this all the time, this will just make your life so much easier. So we're going to go to Window, Actions, and bring up our Action Palette. And we'll just scroll down to lettering our X. Hit the little arrow here. My first step is to quick clean. Um, quick clean is going to clean up all of this, or try to, and make the whites whiter and the blacks blacker and get me ready to remove my background. So I'm going to hit play. And a dialog box just asks me what color mode I'm in. Um, make sure that's an RGB. This is an iPhone photo, so it is. So I'm going to hit continue. And there we have it. This is what it was before. Here it is now. It's better, but not quite there. And I hit this little arrow in my layers palette. This will open up um, all the effects that transpired. Some of these, um, these layers are not turned on. This eye is a visibility eye. If I click it on and off, can see what's going on. So this is not on. I'm going to click it so the eye shows and I can see the effect. And that's my shadow lift. That looks better. And I'm going to come down to cleaner slate. That's not on. I'm going to click that. And that's looking pretty good. So I'm going to close that. And I'm going to scroll down to flatten my image. Flattening the image just applies all the effects that I just did onto my image. I hit play and there it's flattened. This is super important. You need to have your image flattened in order to remove the background, which we're gonna do now. And scroll up here, and I'm gonna go erase white background. Hit play. Here's a dialog box. You can read over what it says, and hit continue. And there it is. I have a totally cleaned up artwork. Now I can take this image and I can use it. I can move it around. I can use it on any colored background, which is super cool. I can take it and place it onto product mockups. Oh my gosh, the, it is just, it's ready to go. I can also take this now and import it into, or I'm sorry, export it into Illustrator and vectorize it but it's pretty high resolution so I can use it for printing right now as is. Okay, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this, this tutorial and if you have any questions just let us know.